<clears throat> so I mentioned this thing briefly a little while ago. This is a neat thing I found on eBay. This is an Ameritech Corporation model AM7 Central Office Simulator. Really, it's a small phone switch. I don't want to call it a PDX because it's more capable. It You can set up seven-digit dial plans on it. It supports all sorts of stuff around modifying the tones and durations of the tones and the signals, timings. It's, it's I guess it's like a, a, a little PBX, but you can configure the crap out of it using a very obscure uh, little LED and keypad interface. So I've got it set up right now just for basic. I could pick up a phone and call another phone. So let me do this and go do that. Five, five, oh wait, no. Hang up. Let's switch the tone. Five, 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 two, three, oh, one. Hello. This is me talking. So that's fun. That goes both ways. makes a ringing sound it's not it's like battery's dead but hello hello ah ah all right that was not ah. anyway um the other neat thing is is it has a monitor function so i can turn this volume up and i can enter a line number so i guess i'll be quickly describe the hardware one moment all right, there's a little closer up. So my unit has uh, four line cards which support two lines each, so that's eight lines. And they break out on these super convenient um, 4P, 4C connectors, which they're getting hard to find. I have a little electronic shop in town that luckily carries them. I had to, I had to buy a crimper for them. I have crimpers for every other kind of connector under the sun, but not those guys. Two lines per connector, they're kind of wired ridiculously. If you know the color code, you can see what I mean. So that's two, four, six, eight, eight lines I have. And then these are E&M trunks. You can see it says right there. So they support full E&M signaling, so I could connect them to um, my E&M to SF cards and use it to do stuff. So that's, it's, it's surprisingly capable for such a little tiny unit. Okay, so those are the lines. I'd love to find more of them. I've been watching on eBay, and now I'm sure other people will be too. Ever since I found this, and I haven't seen, I haven't even seen another unit come up. There were two on eBay when I, I got this one, and this one was a great deal. And it was in Canada, so shipping was great. Yeah, and then there's the little programming keypad here. It's got a serial port, because it does have a computer interface that sucks, just the same as the Sage 938 computer interface sucks, and that you're basically operating the keyboard through the serial port. I haven't even connected to it yet, because it's just, I don't really see the point when it's that useless. It's old, I'm just complaining. So inside, under the hood, it's using a bunch of Mitel chips to hold everything together. And it's actually a PCM backplane on this thing. I think it's actually like a full T1 bandwidth 1.544 kind of megabits per second PCM backplane. So it's, it's a fairly capable little design. And yeah, and there's the ridiculous little display. I don't know how well it, it, it's not strobing now, but it was. So let me enter a line number. So I go uh, select. Well, let's turn on one. Let's change it to two. Line two, enter. And you can see over here, now it's selected. And I can turn this volume up. And if I take line two off the hook, you can hear line two on there. So let's call line two, which is five, 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 uh, two, three, oh, two.
Hello, this is me talking to Line 2, coming out of the monitor of the Ameritech AM7 Central Office Simulator. Isn't this splendid? I think so. Oh, drops the dial tone. That, I'm sure, is configurable. So that's line configuration. Let's go back to that. Select, enter, start delay, auto code, conference to hunt group. It's really obscure. Supu, P equals one, N equals zero. Um, I, I have to look in the manual for what these things mean. I mean. Code group, that's important. This is part of code group A. We'll look at that in a second. DC repeat, uh, I can't remember what this stuff means. Uh, touch tone dialing, dial pulse, or I guess three means both, because both work. Flash time, that actually means time. Disconnect time, which is annoying, we're gonna change it to 500 milliseconds. Oh, I don't know what that means. Uh, attempts, attempts, attempts. Don't know what that means either. Oh, oh. I can't remember what this stuff is. Code. And now it's on to the next line. So I can just keep through these and configure all the lines in the system, which I'm sure would be very painful. Luckily, it remembers the configuration. It's battery back. But let's go select to one, shift, alpha, zero, enter. What? One, alpha, one, enter. All right, so this is the dial plan for the system. So this is, it's, it's in two stages. So the first one is the number dialed. So in this case, it's nine, 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 and two wildcard digits. And that then does step, step one, is 19-00 and I have to look at the manual for what these things mean but they mean things step two is nothing zero it's already there but I'll type it again alpha one enter all right zero alpha one five 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 two three blank blank next um, step one is oh nine dash zero zero that means connect through to the uh, other, through the line, through the line, based off the last two digits. That's the one inflexible thing. I think I can use hunt groups to create other line numbers and assign individual hunt groups to individual lines. Uh, but anyway. Um, 0900. So I'm curious what these nines are. So let's monitor line one. So you can hear it. So let's change this line. Let's go select, enter, start delay, code group, uh, shift, bravo, enter. Okay, select.
two. No, because I'm not in the group anymore. <sighs> Let's change this back to A, enter. Oh, we haven't tried a busy signal. System settings. Oh, um, zero, zero, zero. Enter. Clock. Okay. Huh? Dial tone, low frequency, A, 350, 13. Uh, 350, 440. You know, it's quicker just to go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, I the dial tone continuous interrupted continuous. Low frequency. Let's change this. I'm gonna change it. What does this 13 mean? Let's go oh for 60. I have a different dial tone. So let's go back uh, into there. Let's change this one. One, three, oh, two, seventy. Sure. Enter. Hang up. Oh, listen to that beautiful dial tone. Frequency 20 hertz. Uh, oh, so that's the in milliseconds the ring cadence. So two milli two seconds on, four off, and it has multiple. So I can um. Oh, sorry. I keep this going to the beginning because it really is. There's enter backwards. I have to go shift enter shift enter shift. And it's just not worth my time. Let's set this one to 500, 500, enter. Oh, and then the ring back, cadence, frequency. Ring back, low frequency. Ring back high. I'm guessing LB means line busy. Yeah, because that, that matches. Does it? Frequencies for that. Reorder, I think. And the frequencies for that. Well, we screwed up a ring. Let's try it out. Uh, I'm going to put this on tones. Maybe. Well, that's fun. All right, so for our British friends, uh, let's change this to, I don't know what you guys use. Yeah, let's try four seconds. Oh, just to show, let's monitor my other extension here. Um, select 002. I just select and it starts monitoring. Why is it not? Oh, 
Enter. Mm -hmm. Try clean that pot. Uh, what? I somehow called the E and M circuit there. Let me saw that. Not quite the British cadence. Used to be a bit longer. I'm sure someone will tell me in the comments. So yeah, that's uh, that's the Ameritech Central Office Simulator. Look it up. It's a neat piece of hardware. The other thing I want to mention is that it supports polarity reversal on these lines on so oops, crap. <laughs> it supports answer supervision which is something that I think is causing me issues with getting the exchange lines working on this dude. So that's what I need this for. And that's why I have this super awesome miniature cross connect set up here. That's so I can tie it into the lines here and start to get this thing working, which will be a project coming up soon. All right. Thanks for watching.